Hello, people of the world. I'm back again with another video after spending the weekend paddling up the Noosa Everglades on the Sunshine Coast with a good friend of mine, Jazzy. He convinced me to go out and buy a kayak, so that's exactly what I did. We packed up his Land Cruiser and hit the four-wheel drive tracks to our base camp at the secluded little campsite called Harry's Hut. Now, Harry's is located about two and a half hours north of Brisbane and is only really accessible with a four-wheel drive. There are other locations to stay at along the river, however, Harry's is quite central to the sites we wanted to see throughout the weekend. To stay at Harry's, you'll need to book online through the Queensland National Parks website. It's about seven bucks per person per night, and I believe there's up to 15 campsites which go for about, I'm gonna say, 20 kilometers upstream. So depending on your fitness and the time frames you have, there's plenty to choose from. We managed to snag a campsite right next to the river and wasted no time once we'd set up. We cooked up a quick feed and then we dragged our yaks down to the river and started paddling upstream for about two or three hours. Now, did you know that there's only two Everglades systems in the world? This one, Noosa Everglades, and Florida in the US. And the Noosa one is the only one in the world that you can actually swim in because there's no crocs or alligators in it. It's also home to 40% of Australia's bird life around here, which is pretty impressive because I just got back from Kakadu and they've only got half of that up there. And this is all right here on my doorstep. Anyways, I'm going to stop bragging now and let the footage do the talking and I hope you enjoy this video. Cheers. So there you have it, the Noosa Everglades on the Sunshine Coast. Besides the 250 bucks I dropped on buying a kayak, I think I spent about 20 bucks in total this weekend. I'll put a link below to the local company who you can hire a kayak off or a canoe, and also a link to book a site through the Queensland National Parks. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video, and I hope it inspired you to go experience it for yourself. And I'll catch you in the next episode.